Topaz Video Enhance AI was updated to version 2.6.2 on December the 15th last year. This video is a quick overview of those changes. The 2.6 version brought native Apple M1 silicon support and that's rather than using the Rosetta emulation required with the earlier versions. And that now gives native support for the current generation of Apple M1, M1 Pro and M1 Max computers. If you've got a Mac with M1 Apple Silicon, you could see up to a 30% performance boost compared to Rosetta emulation, as well as significant gains when compared to Intel equivalent machines. The new Cronus Fast AI model greatly assists the rendering speeds of Topaz when slowing down footage that's up to 2000% as well as converting the frame rates. This new Cronus model is up to three times faster at processing both on Macs and PCs. The new models for Proteus, Arteus and Dion are also providing faster processing speeds and at the same time improving the fine-tuned details, particularly in reducing artifacts. And these new optimised models for Proteus, Armatus and Dion are up to 30% faster on Windows-based GPU-enabled machines with a similar performance expected on Macs in the short term. There's now a much more accurate ETA estimate when your export is being processed. And the one thing that users always feedback to me is the speed of Topaz being an issue. But I think the results are worth the time it takes. But with that said, it's great news that the developers continue to improve the rendering speeds and this bodes well for the future of Topaz Video Enhance AI. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and press the bell for more information about future updates to the Topaz software. Thanks for watching.